My name is Alex Honnold, star of the film Free Solo, and you're watching Criticologos. Saludos, mi gente, Rafi, media villa de Criticologos. Me encuentro ahora mismo en Adjuntas, a punto de comenzar la Marcha del Sol de Casa por una iniciativa para movernos a lo que sería el, el energía renovable, el poder del sol, obviamente. Me encuentro con... I'm here with somebody really, really... I'm excited to finally meet this guy. I mean, uh, after, after, you know, after seeing the documentary for the solo, I'm a movie critic, so... Uh, I went to see the, the documentary. I, I fell in love with the movie. I'm here with uh, Holly, Alex Holden. Alex, welcome to Great Thank you. Thank you for having me. Alex Holden. All right, Holden is your... Honnold. Honnold. Alex Honnold. Alex, um, when they first uh, brought to you the idea, the, the, con I mean the, the project of the documentary, what was your first thought about it? Uh, it's hard to say. It's, I mean, it's complicated because I, I had the dream of free soloing El Cap for many, many years. And the film was a bit of an afterthought. It was just sort of extra. But in some ways, the film was very useful for me to encourage me to finally do this climb that I'd wanted to do for so long. So I saw it as a big opportunity, uh, you know, as a professional climber to have a good film out, but also just personally to finish something that I had dreamed of for so long. When you first started doing the, pro the, the, first started trying, uh, doing the, 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 the pro documentary, were, were there ever a moment that you you wanted to back down and was like, hey, we, I don't, I don't want to feel, I, I don't feel comfortable with you guys here. Uh, um, I want to stop. Did you ever felt that moment? No, th I never really wanted to give up. I mean, obviously, I had moments where I was uncomfortable or where I was sick of having camera people around, but but that's natural over two years of shooting. You know, some days you're tired, some days you just don't want to talk to anybody. But um, but overall, I was always committed to the project. Really, because we all worked so hard on it that at a certain point you just wanted to see the project succeed. You know, you've all put so much effort in. We, um, I, I mean, I, I absolutely fell in love. The, I fell in love with the way that the movie was, was filmed. They, they made it, you know, they made it so tense. The whole movie from beginning to end, it was, it was always like a tense moment. When was the, when, which moment through the, through you, during you climbing the, the, the El, El Capitan, it was the moment that you said, you know, I, I finally made it. I, I, I think I can make it to the top. Uh, I mean, you see in the film when I do the boulder problem, when yeah. I do the karate kick, I, yeah. I celebrate a little bit because I knew that I had finished the hardest part. But, uh, but really, actually, the part that I was the most celebratory was uh, the final 200 meters, which in the film is the part that uh, is just beautiful music and climbing. Mm -hmm. It's the aerial shots with the helicopter at the mm -hmm. end. But that whole final 200 meters, I knew that I had finished it, and I was sort of celebrating the, the climb. Um, let me see how I do, how I do this question. How, when, when are you going to give me my next heart attack, which, which, which is going to be the next mountain that you're going to climb? Uh, honestly, I don't know the next mountain that I'm going to climb. I'm still just training and climbing for fun. Um, I mean, I've been putting a lot more of my energy into my foundation and the projects that we're trying to support through the Honda Foundation. Um, so obviously there will be more mountains to climb, but I think for now I'm happy to just train and climb for fun and, and work on my foundation. Alex, two final questions so we can let you go. And you're a really busy guy. Speak, uh, explain to us, the people that are watching Criticologos, what is the Honda, uh, the Honda Foundation? What does it do? How does it help? And then I know you're here in Puerto Rico. Have you ever ha had the, t the time to climb in the Arnira Mountains? Mm -hmm. So the Honnold Foundation supports solar energy projects for a more equitable world. So for the last six years or so, we've been supporting solar projects around the world. And we're here in Puerto Rico to help uh, support Casa Pueblo and, and the work that they're doing here in Atuntas. Um, I have gotten to climb in Puerto Rico a little bit on this trip because, I mean, you know, there's so much yeah. rock here. It's like, why, why not? Um, but, uh, but no, it's, it's a great opportunity to come and see Puerto Rico and, and to participate in the incredible work that, that Casa Pueblo is doing. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Seguimos aquí en Criticólogo, no se vaya nadie.